Thanks for staying with us. Now, one of the great conundrums of the modern world is that the more opportunities and options you have, the less happy you're going to be. Some of the happiest people in the world have been deter um, determined to be those who live in uncivilized areas, con concerning themselves only with what they're going to eat that day and where they would have a good sleep. Now, Nigerians are known to have a knack for flamboyance, and amidst the COVID-19, we have found creative ways to express this. Today, we want to understand why this is so and how this has affected our image in the global space. Now, remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at Plus TV Africa or at Wish Africa one with the hashtag Ways or send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 And all the ladies are here to talk to us. Oh, let, us, let, us let us actually break this down. So when I saw the topic, um, simplicity, living simple lives, and I was wondering, I said Nigerians. <laughs> me, if it's for me, I know that my life can be really easy. You know, I just go by my things, I do what I do, you know, not caring who is watching and all of that. But you see, on one hand, all the so-called brand experts will tell you, no, there has to be an image. You're doing a corporate image, blah, blah, blah. Then on the other Invest hand, money yeah. <laughs> yourself. <laughs> on the other hand, some people are uh, what's it called? They, they they believe that certain things must must show that yes, this mm -hmm. is your this is your status. This is so. There are so many things that it's almost like it's like sacrosanct that you have to do when you've got into a certain level in life. So I'm wondering, is this possible? Because Isi was talking about Mark Zuckerberg. We can have a billionaire in Nigeria wearing <laughs> jeans and T-shirts. You know, is it possible? You know, so when you go around other African countries, you know, go to other African countries, the way they live their life is so easy. And on a quick one, mm -hmm. my younger sister hosted a couple of her, she lives in France. She hosted a couple of her friends mm -hmm. in the home, you know. And by the time they came to her home, they were wondering, ah, ah now wow, because the way she carries herself, you would not match it with her home. Mm -hmm. So all of a sudden, things just change. And some of them said, do you know that you're not the typical Nigerian? You know, because <laughs> if you have this kind of, you know... You should show you, off. I mean, it would show in your, in everything. Your you hair, know, so, your so shoes, let, let, let your start, Let me start, I don't know, let me start with Sansi. Mm. What do you think about simplicity? Can we truly live simple lives? Okay, well, basically, when I hear simplicity, this is what I imagine it to be, or I believe it is. It's like going back to basics. So, I mean, I can afford to get this brand, but I don't need it. So I just go for the easy one. Like, that's why some people call them um, um, thrifty or frugal or cheapo, because they're the ones that will be like, I don't need a phone of 500,000 naira. If I can get a 50,000 naira phone that just does do messages job. and WhatsApp and social media, I'm good with 33, it. 3310. <laughs> <laughs> no, not 3310. Come on, you know, but some people actually deliberately move to the desert, not 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 a desert, yeah. like jungle, suburbs, village, yeah. suburbs to leave, and they love the peace and quiet there. Exactly. So I say it is possible to live a simple life. However, majority of Nigerians would rather not go for that because wow. we are very flamboyant. <laughs> it's like I I don't I don't it's like in it's in the air, especially in city, like, not even mm -hmm. city, like even in the villages. Absolutely. You know there is a saying that says when um, when a refrap comes into wealth, they make a lot of noise. So it still comes back to the context that are we Niger we as Nigerians are we actually refraps? Because what we were not exposed to when we we're growing up, we try to make do with with it as we grow older and maybe for example I didn't have a car when I was growing up as a child then somewhere along the line I happened to buy a Toyota you to hammer. then in fact the whole as world I'm will entering hear your, the street I'm playing the music very and loud. slamming Roaming it very it. loud exactly so and it's to say all that levels. I have arrived yeah. that I'm, I'm a big boy or I'm a big girl mm. now you know okay so, so let me hear Uti I think um, Uti <laughs> Uti can you hear me Yes, I can. All right. So, what what came to your mind when we when we saw the topic on simplicity? If we can truly live simple lives as Nigerians. So, so my thoughts on. Um, can you hear me? I can hear you now. Okay. So, I think that Nigerians, we we can live a simple life. I think that our culture has sort of moved us away from living a simple life. So we, we start off, or we used to in the past, um, progress in life, you know, in the regular stages, you get married, you 
Do you have? No. I think we're having a bit of issues with her yeah. Uti's network. Entry level job, and you move through up to uh, get to a senior level. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can yes. hear you now, Uti. Mm -hmm. No, no, we're having troubles with her network. Okay. Uh, so, so, but you know, um, drawing it bottom line. Mm -hmm. What is the foundation of this whole drama to want to leave a very because I think it's just too complicated. You know, when I was growing up in the north, mm -hmm. right? I think part of I part of the northern lifestyle is to live a very, very they call basic. it like back home. Like mm. there's nothing that would disturb you and all of Not that. Not to worry mm -hmm. about anything. For the life of me, I never knew that in me certain things there was a party for so many things until, <laughs> until I came to Lagos. Lagos. Welcome to Lagos. Do you understand? <laughs> so and when you were going to parties, mm. you would go with gifts, you would go with but the burden in Lagos was you, the, the host, the person celebrating, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you have to spend a lot of money to host people that you, they don't really care about you. Mm -hmm. They just want to come and just probably see what they want to see and eat your food and all of that. Mm -hmm. So I was, I was now wondering, wow, how, where did all of this turn, you know, this, this lopsided kind of mindset, you know, because mm -hmm. we used to be truly simple people. But all of a sudden, everything is blown out of proportion. So something that I traced it to right. was social media. Hmm. Especially with the advent of social media, right? Where it now seems like, you know, somebody once told me, a coach once told me that Instagram is the biggest um, platform of envy. Hmm. You know, before it was Facebook, but Facebook didn't really have the amount of attention that Instagram, Instagram brings. Has. So all of a sudden, somebody that you're not talking to, you're checking their pages to see, ah, ah, this person has done this, yes. this person has done that. So yes. it's not looking like there's so much you want pressure. to pressure. So you, that's where you, to, you start to hear people going into crime, mm. people saying that now, I mean, young people that you never thought was... They because they want something them. to show because off as course, well. Because they are looking for something to post. Mm -hmm. So they will do every single thing to make sure that they are in the news. So I think social media has been one of the biggest... Enablers. Um, enablers or um, catalysts for this... Um, um, for this simplicity. Flamboyancy. Yes, okay. flamboyancy that we mm. cannot go back to just the basics. What the eyes do, do not see, the heart doesn't desire. Mm. To me, it's about once you see it, even if it's not on social media, aside from social media, you're dealing with a family or a relative or a friend who you see every day, and you tell them, oh, this is what is going on with me. And, you know, the culture of, let's take a, a wedding, for example. Mm. I have a wedding, it's a simple wedding. Everybody came mm -hmm. in, they danced, and they walked away with a gift or two. Somebody else comes in, maybe you come in, you have a wedding, and it was the razzmatazz, colors everywhere, cultures, display of splendor, wealth, affluence, mm -hmm. everywhere. The other person will say, oh, my wedding talk past your room. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, it's like uh, uh, you feel like you have been left out, and you, the, that thing to so impress... Those, is that not coming from a the, place of complex? Is that not coming from a place of... I think there is the uh, angle of uh, value and, and validation. We just have this belief that when I have more and when I do more or I have more associated uh, to or with my name, mm -hmm. then that would make me happy. But sadly, that is really not the situation. That's why you see people... I get that some people love school or they love certain things, but there are people who can be bothered about it, but you mm -hmm. want bachelor's degree, master's degree, uh, a PhD. doctorate PhD. degree, PhD, and you're doing nothing with mm. it. At the end of the day, you just have the degrees to your name and there is, you're, you're, you, you don't have a value to the society. You just have all these documents. Mm. And like you said about, about weddings, I just want to be maybe like the hardest trend. For instance, this is COVID era. You're not mm -hmm. inviting people to your wedding. You can just have the two of you plan a little mini you wedding and just have 10 people call an interior Close decorator friends. to de decorate your, your living room, you know, and have a beautiful wedding. No. Why do you have to rent a hall uh, <laughs> to have a wedding? To impress. I think Uti is basically. <laughs> that is it. Uti, you were going to say something, um, Uti. Yes. Um, um, so, I mean, I totally agree with, with everything that um, has been said so far. I think we are slowly moving to a more flamboyant lifestyle, or no, I shouldn't say we are slowly moving. We, we have, are right. we have. <laughs> you have to be flamboyant, or you are not. You know, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Weddings are now a competition, exactly. and you know the competition is everywhere. It's not mm -hmm. just in weddings. It's even 
in children's birthday parties. Yes. Like parents yes. now try to outdo each other. I remember when I was in primary school and your <laughs> we didn't even used to call it party pack then. You just used to get get a little pack with pencils and erasers and some biscuits and either Capri Sun or Vip. Hmm. And then somehow over the years we have turned this thing into you know the competition of who is giving the best party packs and even exactly. the kids now have followed that culture. So the kids are looking in the party pack going, oh, this person's party pack was better than that person's Thank own. Thank you. So we, we, our culture is a real issue here where mm -hmm. Nigerians, we tend to go overboard with everything. So as soon as we switch directions, you know, we tend to keep going and going and going to the extreme. And one thing I'd like to point out here, particularly with weddings. Mm -hmm. Now, if you take um, America, for instance, or the UK, mm -hmm. when people, when celebrities have weddings, right we watch those weddings and we think oh that's fantastic it was a beautiful wedding we don't think about how we're going to go and have a kim kardashian style wedding Tell but them. in nigeria people want to have a kim kardashian style wedding when they know they're not Kim Kardashian and they don't have that kind <laughs> uh, of tell me about it <laughs> tell them <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> that really is the issue. That's where you see that we're creating this gap where people are now having to take extreme measures under so much pressure mm -hmm. to have. And I don't even think that it's a dream wedding anymore. I think it's just you trying to Huge outdo the next person, have the best wedding planner, best dress, best wedding video. I mean, we've really gone to the extremes. I mean, I wouldn't think today if I'm going to have a wedding, even Nigeria, I mean, we have celebs. And, you know, I'm not going to try to compare and try to compete with them. I'm not even trying to compete with anyone. But Nigerians, we take that social media life, we take it really, too hard. really yeah. Hook line yeah. sinker. We yeah. take it too hard, too much. Okay, so mm -hmm. I, I, I hear what everyone has said, you know. Mm -hmm. I, for one, when Uti mentioned Party Park, I smiled. Because <laughs> when my children were in uh, um, the younger classes, like mm. um, primary, nursery, Mm -hmm. Whenever they celebrated their birthday, what I would do is get the number of the children in their classrooms and buy a, a, a storybook for each of the child. They won't like I get you. my son to autograph it. <laughs> Funny mm -hmm. enough, mm -hmm. the first time I did it, by the time I got to class to pick him up for the, for the end of the class, mm -hmm. I met all the children reading the book. Oh, they lovely. came and they hugged me. Mm -hmm. So now the point I'm trying to draw here mm -hmm. is who is writing this script for us because i for one i have always lived life on my own terms i will tell you this is what i want to do this is how i want it to be done mm -hmm. but i realize that people are writing scripts for us we are living that script without knowing that we are leaving somebody else's script that is true you know so mm -hmm. how do we now begin to reach re-engineer the mind because my children mm. for instance i am grooming them to live simple lives mm -hmm. i am grooming them to put importance on what imp what is important no mm -hmm. i'm so happy for covid19 covid19 has mm. brought a lot of things out to the of the fold, yes. and now all of us all of a sudden all of us realize that certain things are not as important to as we thought they were mm -hmm. now all the big cars that we bought we can't drive them, drive anywhere. them anywhere. When mm -hmm. there was a lockdown, you were in your homes. <laughs> you know, so it was basics. It was food. It was shelter. shelter. It was family. It was that was the basic mm -hmm. that everybody had to survive on. Mm -hmm. So how, where do we now start to re re-engineer the minds of people? So who wants to go first? I think it's about um, um, mindset change because the fact that you have money doesn't mean that your mind is transformed like you can have physical cash but then there is that poverty and the poverty mm. mentality will always want to show off that's mm. why a, a billionaire would walk in and just jeans and t-shirts and then the person who has maybe 50 million naira not dollars <laughs> is like going all out and making 50 million so much, is too much. <laughs> Fifty thousand naira. Fifty thousand. You, you would go all out to want to impress when you you know when you notice people that are trying to impress, mm -hmm. they are the ones that are the brokest. Mm -hmm. They don't have you know? a a a, a so, dance Uti. in the name. <laughs> Uti, so mm. what do you think? Where do you, um, where do we start to reengineer so the mind? I think that it's important to focus on the children now. Yes. Um, we have to admit that certain generations are lost. Are lost. So the generations of mm. millennials, the generation Zs, all the kids that are teenagers now, you know, parents will really really struggle to pull them back from that social media lifestyle because they've grown up in it they've seen it right. 
Um, so you having to, to be able to teach your children the reality that what they see on Instagram is, is produced and is not real, mm -hmm. um, it's going to take a real task for parents. And hopefully parents have the time to do that. But we now need to focus on the next generation. So the kids, the toddlers right now, we now need to start training them to understand the benefits of living a simple life. Now, technology doesn't help. Really, technology is in itself an enabler. Oh, yes. um, mm. But we also have to start to teach these children the benefits of technology without the flamboyance of it. It's really, really important. We have to catch them young. I could also take the I could also take the religious angle, which is the fact that we need to understand that um, um, Jesus li lived a simple life. So that is true. we should inculcate that into no, our you are, children. You are, talking, you are as well. saying Jesus lived a simple life. Yes. The pastors, the crop of religious. I was Hold I on. was going to go yeah. there. I was going to go there. So but that that you see, there is a saying that by their fruits you shall know them. Mm. Okay. So if you're going to a church that has this uh, crop of pastors that are into the flamboyance and and um, razzmatazz of living life to the largest, or oh, my God is not a poor God, then you have to you know reevaluate your priorities. So it still comes back to we as parents. Um, and educating our children or the younger ones to get it right from the beginning. Well, we, we won't just go to the younger ones just yet because we, mm. as my, own, my own children are, are teenagers. I still have to save, save them. I'm saying mm -hmm. that it, I think it can, it can start from anywhere. Mm -hmm. It can start, but it starts with a decision. Where you, where you take a stand to say, this is, what, this is who I want to become mm -hmm. and right. I will live my life on my own terms. But let me mm -hmm. take a comment from um, Chisum. Say, good okay. evening. Guys, I think we do not have a good value system in Nigeria. Fantastic. Living simply doesn't mean living without, but living with only what we need. Um, mm. The Western world would rather declutter, recycle, repair instead of replacing. Mm -hmm. Simplicity is the lifestyle in developed world. Mm. So thank you so much, um, Chisam. We'll go on a short break. When we return, we are going to see if we can try to prefer some kind of so quick true. wins, immediate steps that we can begin to take. But you know this thing is a deliberate action. It's not something, it is. Yes. It's not something that you just, you just mouth it. Mm -hmm. You must be very deliberate about living a simple life. We'll be right back. Let's go on a quick break. <laughs> 